Well, good morning, Bobby Lee here with Hurricane Creek Farms. And uh, as you can see, a bit of a frosty morning here in West Tennessee, but uh, you know, it's that time of year. Uh, maybe a little early on our frost, you know, based on our average, but it's getting into October 19th. I guess we'd call that late October, mid-October, somewhere in there. But anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Um, gonna have a busy one today. Um, days are getting shorter, we gotta pack more stuff into a shorter period of time so appreciate y'all watching let's get to it probably appreciate the full extent of the frost a little better out here in these creek bottoms but you got a pretty good one this is uh i guess two mornings in a row we've had a frost so um i think like 27 28 this morning so um yeah our growing season has abruptly come to an end. Like I said, about, I was looking this morning, our average frost for our general area is like more the end of the month. So we're about 10 days or so early, but whatever, it happens. So uh, checking on our first bunch this morning, these wean calves and a few cows that we got with them. Uh, trying to get all the herd checks done here first thing while this frost is still covering everything for it gets burned off and dried up um, so we can then head to the hay field but that is maybe about half of them we're gonna find the rest and then move on down the road it's a bit chilly um wish i wish i had more than just these little thin leather gloves but uh sadie is ready to go gonna take the horse trailer in town need to get some new tires put on it kaylin had a flat the other day Went ahead and got a new one there. I need to put the spare back in there as well. So, I'm gonna drop that off in town and then uh, go check some more cows. So, everyone here is present and accounted for. Last straggler coming up out of the woods over there. So, one more little chore checked off the to do list. So, I wanted to come down here real quickly and just look where we had had. I'll start work down on the water drainage and just see how our kind of different winter annuals and um, some of those cool season perennials of fescue and orchard grass and all are coming up. And you can see, yeah, right in here, you got looks like some peas coming up there, wheat is sprouting. Uh, so, yeah, got lots of good stuff starting to come up all out in there. And so, yeah, looking good, looking good. So, I'm yeah, here in a few more weeks, should be able to get a very good idea of how good of a stand of all that we've gotten. Yeah, there's a pea there, but um, good deal. Of course, everywhere where the sun is hitting, the frost is is burnt off, and you get into the shady spots, and still pretty frosty. Start getting, got to get the disc mower off the tractor. Baylor hooked up, and I don't know. Then we'll check and see how uh, how dry that dry is, or how dry the hay is, and see if we can start raking. All right, got the wild man helping me. Second time in a row, I forgot the GoPro when I got on the rake tractor. So filming with the phone, but rake there. I'm gonna rake this little patch here in town, and uh, I head back home and start bailing. And the tractor remains the undefeated absolute best sedative you can give a kid if they need a nap. Um, the, uh, it's kind of warm in here. You know, it's a cool day. Sun beating through those windows. Shining down on him. Enough to make a young man want to take a nap. Well, we are rolling now. Willis had him a tractor nap while we raked. It's just not going to be a lot to like just our outside pass and Willis said where's the bales? So man here it's still gonna be a lot of them so still yet to have our first one uh, getting close on one more 53 inches but uh yeah I would say if we get to 10 today it'll be a victory and I think for the first cutting which is by far our biggest one this year we had about 40 rolls on the same ground so literally going to be happy if we get to 25% of what that first cutting was. But we knew this one was going to be short. Uh, we just ran out of, you know, growing season, more or less. Couple that with the fact that it's been incredibly dry. 
hay, the cows will be happy for it come this winter. So we are bailing up these tiny, tiny windrows and go a long way to make a bale, so I don't know. Uh, figure up, start time, fuel, wear and tear on equipment. I don't know. We'll totally pencil out for this, but um, got five rolls so far, we're gonna have somewhere right around six. Maybe not a full six, but we'll have a, a sixth one of some shape or form. So as Willis is showing you there, that's the, our sad last little roll. But I don't think he would have had it any other way. That was just your size, isn't it? Yes. We're gonna, but that it will be the last roll of hay for the year. Um, yeah, kind of a sad one. Um, maybe kind of representative of the year we had as far as the drought and how short the hay might get this winter. <laughs> we might be really thankful to have every little bit, but uh, I think I'm just gonna back up over there, use an air compressor to blow this thing out. Oh, I did cleaned off and ready to store away for the winter. Everything opened up. It'd be nice. I mean, we're going to store it inside where none of this will get wet or anything anyway, but put it away clean. We'll have everything ready to go for next spring. Uh, got the air compressor built up. Yeah. Well, that, that real short hay just didn't, didn't pick up real good either. It never does. But it is what it is. But yeah, it's coming off a bit of that too. Sun's starting to get low. I think we're expecting to get another frost tonight before we go kind of back into a warm up for a few days. Yeah. Riding that roller coaster. Ooh, dusty job. Be itchy after all this. All right, so got her backed in. We'll unhook her lighter. Wife wanted me to let the horses out, but yeah, now the question is, do we have enough hay? Cause that's the hay we got is all the hay we got right now. Um, you know, we, we could, you know, if we run out, we could, you know, see if my dad, and my uncle have any extra I could get from them or buy some from some other local folks. Um, I've had to do that uh, last year or two. But I was trying to think, I have to look at my notes. I keep tally of it in the house, but looking at the monitor, I was trying to remember how many rolls were on that baler when we bought it. We must have rolled about 230, 240 rolls this year. So I don't know. Last year, I think we fed right at 300 rolls and probably half of those were, were the bigger rolls. So you immediately say to yourself, oh crap, we ain't gonna have enough hay. Because we do have probably as many, maybe even a couple more animals compared to last year that we're going to have to get through the winter. But the difference being, last winter, we were already feeding hay. I say last winter, it was last fall. We were feeding hay. Um, as I let the horses out. Speaking of feeding hay, they got some square hay out there on the ground for them. But, um, yeah, we were already feeding hay like the first of October last year. Uh, weren't feeding a lot, and we were feeding just some old, uh, you know, older hay. And we did, uh, and actually, probably until mid-December, we were feeding some older, lower quality hay. So, we're not, we don't have near as much hay, but it is going to be better quality being stored inside. And the big difference being, we're not gonna have to feed hay this year as well. I don't know, I'm afraid to say, because we finally just got frost these last couple of nights, or freeze even. So I don't know how long the pastures will hold out. We, we got a fair amount of grass stockpiled. I'm thinking, I mean, today, as I stand here, it's October 19th. We ought to be at least, at least another month. I'm gonna, yeah, I don't wanna jinx it, I, I feel like, shouldn't have to until at least first of December. And I don't think it's crazy to think it may be end of December, even first of the year, so. But we will see. I rambled incessantly here at the end of this one, but 
You can probably tell sun's getting low. I need to get to the house. Get some dust off of me. I'm about to itch myself to death. And then uh, get the kids fed and wrap up another day. So keep checking back in. We gotta get some hay moved home. Gotta start making more plans just to, as we move into, I don't wanna say winter, cause heck it's falls just what, less, we're less than a month in the fall, but move closer to actual winter time feeding and that sort of thing. How we're gonna ration our grass out and whatnot. But again, we appreciate y'all watching. Keep coming back. Eat beef and God bless.